Hey everyone, Kenny from Stuff You Can Use here. Today, I'm gonna be giving you a look at our brand new check-in and database management software called Grow Numbers. Let's start with this page, which this is the page you're gonna look at when you first log in, and it's the overview page. And so on the overview page, you're gonna see a bunch of different stats, a bunch of different information, and uh, yeah, basically, so we'll start from the top. You're gonna see how many active students you have in your ministry, and so this graph right here will show you every month how many active students there were in your ministry. So right now, uh, this ministry, they have 142 active students. That means any student that checked in in the last 90 days. So that's what this graph right here means. Um, attendance to active percentage. So that's how many students you have that are active versus how many attended your last event. And so you can see that right here. And so that's what this is. So 35% of this ministry students came to their last events. And then over here on this graph, you will see how many new students you're getting every week. So it tells you the week and it tells you how many new students you had check into an event for the very first time. So that's what those three graphs are. And this overview page could be changing all the time, depending on the feedback we get and what information you guys deem as most valuable. Uh, that's what we have right now. And as you scroll down, you'll see, all right, we got some more details. So this is the number of students. These three gray boxes here show you how many students actually walked through your doors. So last week, Maybe you had multiple events and you had 82 students and these are 82 different unique students. So if a student maybe checked into two different events during the week, it only counts them once. So these are unique students. So 82 students last week, 127 students the month before or for the last month and 142 over the course of the year. So that counts maybe all of your new students or visitors that may have walked through your doors. And then right underneath that, you've got a list. So if you want to see exactly who those new students were, you can easily just scroll through this list. Same thing with active students. You can scroll through inactive, none for this example today, and also check-ins by date. So if you want to see exactly like, hey, I've got a specific date in mind and I want to see who checked in on that date, you can get that information very easily. And then over here, uh, another stat that we thought was interesting was just top attendance. So these are the students that come to your events the most. So right here, you can kind of just scroll through and see, all right, these are the students over the past 12 weeks who have been most active in my ministry. People have already been asking, can we get a list of this or a list of that? And the answer is yes. Just tell us what kind of list you want to see and we will figure out a way to get it on your dashboard so you can see it. And then at the very bottom here of the overview page, you got weekly totals. And so this is going to show you how many students for that week, how many new students, and how many volunteers you had that week. So just an easy snapshot for you to be able to see over the last 12 weeks uh, what your attendance trends and attendance looked like. So that's what the overview page is all about. Now, uh, another section that's pretty important I want to show you is the people page. The people page is basically your database. So this includes all of your parents, all of your volunteers, and all of the students that are in your ministry. So right now it says you have 223 people in this example ministry, and that includes every parent, every volunteer, every student. If you wanted to see just students, there's a couple ways you could filter it by type. So, you know, you see just parents here, just volunteers here. Um, if you wanted to see it all in one database, you could just click on students. It'll tell you, all right, 144 total students. That's every student who's ever checked into anything in your account. And of course, you can see all their information that you've collected. You can even add custom columns. So if there's different information that you want access to, you can just add that column and then you can start collecting that information from your students. Um, and if you want to search somebody, so let's see, let's, I saw this Hodge. I noticed that name earlier. Hodge Shortcliffe. Uh, gotta love those random name generators. And so if you want to see Hodge's profile in this example ministry, uh, here he is. So I put a picture in for him and you can see that he's in seventh grade. He's active. He showed up for the first time on this date. And so he's brand new on that date. 
And so we see that statistic. He's one for one as far as uh, opportunities. for. So that's what his attendance rate is. So that's how many times has he shown up since his first check-in? And it would be 100%. And then, uh, if you, we only have one event in here right now, which is Pulse Wednesday night for their high school ministry. But if you wanted to see his attendance for different events, you can go ahead and look at it there and, uh, see how many times he attended in the past month, what his annual attendance percentage is, which he's brand new, so very low. Um, and then, of course, all of his basic information. So, you can add to that, you can edit it, you can always have access to it, and you can export it if you want to. And so, that's what, the people section looks like. And then the last section I want to show you are the events. And so basically events, you can add as many as you want. You can have recurring events. So maybe you have a Wednesday night high school ministry or a Sunday morning middle school ministry or whatever event you want to put. If it's recurring and it happens every week, you would add it as a recurring event. And then maybe you also have one-time events. So maybe that's just like a dodgeball tournament that you have going on you would add that here and you can also track attendance and statistics for those events as well Um, but for this event we just have one so let's look at the stats page and it's going to look identical to the overview page because there's only one event so the overview page really kind of puts all of your event data together so you can see across all of your different events all of your different ministries if you have a fifth and sixth grade ministry or a middle school and a high school you can see it all in one place Um, but when you click stats for a specific event it'll give you those specific stats so same thing as the overview and but it's just specific to that particular event and then let's go back to that events page and the other thing which is going to be really important is your check-in so let's go ahead and click check-in and this is what your check-in page is going to look like so you'll be able to create what information you want to collect when someone registers but if you uh You can open this up on a laptop, on an iPad, even on your phone uh, or tablet or whatever you have, and you can check students in as they come in through your doors. You can have them do it. They can easily search their own names, or you can have a volunteer do it. But you search for them, you check them in, then they're locked and loaded for your ministry, and uh, you'll have that data. And if they want to register, they can do that here too. So that's pretty much a quick overview of what you're going to get with Grow Numbers. Uh, and we'll be adding new features all the time. So if you have ideas and you're like, hey, I really want to see this, or could we do this? People are already talking about, can we send a mass text to our people? Uh, and the answer is no at the current moment, but that's definitely something that we want to work on and figure out and partner with a mass texting service so that you can easily text all of your students. Any ideas you have, send them our way. And we hope you really enjoy this. I think this is a really cool tool that will help you get really insightful data into your ministry to help track trends, how your attendance is doing, what new students you have, um, and gives you an opportunity to follow up with them. And yeah, just be able to keep track of all of your data. So hopefully this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, shoot them over to us at Grow Numbers. All right. See you guys later.